So we'll get the data file here and text or CSV file. In the sample data, we have this opportunities. Click on load. And now on right side, if you see, this is data here. Now let us start visualizing this data now. Some common visuals are here. You can use these visuals. I can first of all add the title of uh, the report, for example, opportunities. In case you want to add the logo, insert image from here. Table and matrix can also be brought in here. Simple table, rows and the columns which are available. For example, if I want to add account ID as my first column and amount as my second column. So same information is available. So this is table. If I bring in fiscal year and remove the account ID, fiscal year is number. That's why it has taken the sum. So I'll just click here and don't summarize. Now you can see years have come here with the amount. So this is one visual which we have added. So what is matrix? Matrix will help you to convert the rows into columns. Now, for example, I want to see the fiscal year as a column. So this one is exactly replica of pivoting uh, what you are using in Microsoft Excel. Here it is one of the visuals as pivoting. In the value, I'll be using the amount. So I'll get the amount in the values. And in rows, we can add, uh, for example, stage. So this was the stage name. You can uh, customize the view of this also. You can just go here to the visual and in second option, you can do the formatting of the style presets are available. I'll instead of default, usually I use the condensed one. So which will show me in this way. Of course, you can change the colors and all of that that I'll explain you in further in the next video. Now we will look at the other visual, which is card. So if I click here on this one, you can see this one is card. I have brought in this visual here and instead of dragging and dropping or bringing a new card, you can simply copy this visual and paste it here. And now I can convert this to card. So right now this is table. I can click on matrix or I can click on card. Sum of amount is 811 million. Let it be amount, but you are changing the title here. So I'll go here to general title and enable this title total opportunity amount. Category label, in case you want to hide, you can hide that also. So on top, you can see here total opportunity amount, 811 millions. So in case you don't want to automatically convert this to millions, so you can simply go here to call out value. So display units is auto, so you can change it to millions or thousands. So it will now convert to thousand. In case you want to add the decimals, so you can add the decimals also here. These all visuals are interactive. Suppose if I want to see the 2023 amount, I'll just click here. All the visuals will be filtered according to what I have selected. And if I click it again, click here, closed one or closed lost. So I can see that lost. If I want to remove the sum from here in visuals, I'll be removing the sum of amount. Now you can see here only the years are there. I can use this even as a filter. Suppose I'll remove this also. So right now only one card is there and these are all the years. So I can just click on any year. So it will filter that year for me. There is KPI card also that you can add. In KPI you have the trend axis and target axis. So as the target axis is not there, so we'll not be able to add that. Here is the bar chart. So bar chart can be added here similar to what you have been using in Excel. We'll get the data, for example, uh, in bar charts, you are, want to see the time series. So you will use the and here as an x axis and, and then amount. As a y axis. Year, fiscal year. So we'll bring in fiscal year here in x axis. So we'll go here filters, filter on this visual or filter on this page or filter on all pages. So I want to have on all pages, I want to have year, fiscal year as a filter. So I'll go to fiscal year and get the fiscal year into all the pages use for basic filter and I'll exclude this is the time series based chart and you can also have this as a donut chart also go here to donut chart so of course it, it all depends that how you want to show it instead of year you can use stage so I'll use stage name as legend for this particular visual now you see here that these are opportunities, opportunities by year and these are opportunities stage. And this one was the table, but we can also add here filter as a slicer option here. If you go into insert, Q&A, key influencer, decomposition tree and smart narratives. 
so these are all ai based visuals so you can use it so analyze what you want to see for example expected revenue so analyze by the stage and how it will work is that i want to see that this expected revenue has come from where i'll click this stage name so it will show me that closed one from closed one perception analysis and from negotiation and review and from this and all other stages are here instead of opening all that amount at once so you can show this and from there you can drill through so high value and from there if for example closed one is also coming from here i'll just add uh, fiscal year and now you can see here if i go and analyze this again so st sales stage close one and by which year so i'll just plus this by fiscal year so it will show you a fiscal year and if in fiscal year you want to add the month and in month you want to add a specific date so from here it will take you to the last level so you can do the drill through so this is called the decomposition tree gauge for example target versus actuals so you'll go here to visuals this is the gauge you can add it here target value could be amount target value and actual value will be for example expected revenue so this will be the value so you can see here it has got in to this value that 811 million was the target value and 515 million is the actual value so this was your for example as you mentioned total opportunity amount is 811 and the expected revenue is this much so you can see here total it shows 1 billion so why it is showing because we can add the maximum value also and against maximum maximum value what is my target and what we have achieved uh, in case you want to keep the maximum value also as a target value so i can use for example amount as the maximum value and this will be maximum value so now you can see here 811 million is maximum value also and 811 million is also the target value so this is the gauge you can use this for various purposes if you are using budget versus actuals or forecasted sales versus actual target sales versus actual so all of that can be added here so uh, in best practices numbers cards and gauge should be added on top q a you can add here if i go here insert and q a you can ask the natural language questions what was the maximum expected revenue in 2022 and you can see here what was the maximum expected revenue in 2022 so it has given me this amount i can directly ask the question in natural language using the ai and uh, data mining technique it will give me the answer so here it gives me the revenue by stage also here so depending upon uh, your data sets you can ask the questions and it will give you the answers so this is the q a which is available and you can keep this for your users to ask the question and get the answers a tree map you can see by source for example source of lead so i can use lead source as a category and here i'll be adding the value as expected revenue so here you can see and from where the most of the amount is coming from so employee referral is more than a trade show than word of mouth and so on from here you can choose for example closed one so it will show you closed one most of the one is also from the employee referral so again you can disable the filter from here so this way you can have the interactive visuals so i can click on 2022 so automatically the other visual will also be filtered you can see here these two visuals are filtered for 2022 2021 also if i filter so accordingly it will be filtered and all the visuals are interactive so in case you want to disable the interactivity between the visuals so you can do that also by going into more options here is the filter option so this is slicer option that you can add and on slicer for example i want to filter only the year i can go to data fiscal year so here is fiscal year i can drag and drop it here uh, you can use this slicer functionality here you can go here to format visuals and here you can do slicer setting options are suppose you want to have the vertical list so it will show you the vertical list and you can choose if you want to choose multiple you can press control and choose multiple years and you can also see the drop down so in drop down also you can use the filters uh, my most favorite is tiles I'll just expand this 
And here you can of course change the colors, header icons. So background is here. Show the title also in case you want to add the title here that select the year. And this way you can click and specific year will open. So these are all the slicer options here. Go here, file. First of all, save it. Sync tutorial. 